you are now listening to or watching the It Takes All Kinds podcast. Yeah, and if you aren't, you can head over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and listen to us now, or head on over to Drib on YouTube and watch the video version as well. And if you'd like to stay up to date on when we're releasing a new episode or any other fun information about the podcast, you can give us a follow on Instagram at It Takes All Kinds Podcast and on Twitter at ITAC Podcast. That's I T A K Podcast. Without saying much else, we hope you enjoy this episode. Please, God, just help me stop. I don't want to do this. God is dead. Well, that answers Hello. It. Hello, everybody. We're back in town. Hi. We're back. Hi, guys. We're back. Careful. Hi, guys. Hello, this is Elon Musk, and you're watching the Takes All Kinds podcast. What's up, Gavin? Welcome, everybody. Elon Musk, and you're watching the It Takes All Kinds podcast. Welcome. The It Takes All Kinds podcast, episode 73. We are recording this on Monday, August 1st. You'll be hearing this on Friday, August 5th. Fantas- it's a fantastic day. Carson, once again, has lost his voice again. He, he's doing the same He's doing the same <laughs> it's not bit. not as bad as it was last time. He's doing the same bit. He can't talk, so now I have to talk for most of the episode. Yeah, I know. And you're watching the he it has a talk to podcast. drops. I got to poop so bad. Someone call my daddy. <laughs> He's getting zapped. Do you remember when Paul McCartney lost his mind? You know, my, vo- my voice is slightly famished today. Not as bad as it was that last time. But again, it's like same shit. It's like I don't talk all day. Feel great. I, I feel fine. I don't feel like a- I'm not 100% right now. I do have COVID. <laughs> no, we'll get to that in a minute. I don't, but. Um, I'm like fine, and then Gavin gets here, and then I like start talking. And I'm like, hell yeah, oh, help me! And then my voice is dog trash. So we're back, we're back at square one again with this goddamn. The reason is, is I started a new inhaler, humble brag, and it like <coughs> really has like fucked my voice up. Not every day though, like I'll, it'll just be random. Exactly. And, like, it, it sucked because the first day in Chicago, I had it really bad. And, like, to the point where I was, like, and, like, uh, not not to call him out, but front of the show, Matt Carlin was, like, everything all right with that? And I was, like, I'm, like, I swear to God, it's a new inhaler. I'm fine. Every every time that you, uh, that every time somebody walks up to you, you're, like, you're, like, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Yo, hey, Lieutenant Carson? And you like try, you like get a drink and like try to, you know, protect yourself from having to talk about anything. Oh, yep. Sorry. Hold on one second. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll catch up with you later. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was a. Uh, it just sucks, and I don't know why it keeps happening. And the inhaler, the inhalers do wonderful things. So I think I will keep up with the inhaler, even though uh, my insurance doesn't cover most of it. And I end up paying out of pocket like seventy-five bucks per inhaler, which is a lot of money. And they apparently say it's the cheapest inhaler that they have, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's not that much cheap for me. Even though it would originally be like five, <coughs> five million dollars, yeah. probably. Yeah, that's usually how they are. So I'll take it. It's like a, it's weird though. It's a powder inhaler. You guys ever heard of this? It's a powder inhaler. What are they going to do next? Are they going to come up with a gas inhaler? <laughs> oh, wait, that's most of them. It's not gas, though, is it? It's like a, it's just suppressed air that shoots a mist out. It's not <laughs> gas. It's not gas, right? It, I, I Listen, I can't speak on this. I haven't learned anything <laughs> oh. about it. Oh. Oh. What are you, wait, Ooh. what are you in school for again? I haven't taken pulmonology yet, ah, bitch. Ah, there it is. When do you take that? So we this can, fall. So we can get to the bottom of this my, fall. my illness. This fall. Okay. See you next fall. All right. Did it hurt when you f- fall from heaven? Enough about me, Gavin. Let's get to you. How are you doing? I'm tired. Working. Really? Yeah. Yep. Can you prove that? Uh, actually, if you check out my be real, you can check. You can't check it, but I can check. Show you every, the last six days. 
Who mentioned that to me? Oh, a friend of ours did. Oh, you know what? I was going to tell you something before. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just remembered what something. What the fuck? A friend of ours, the same friend that said that they have seen your B reels, which, by the way, is growing to be one of the most hated apps by me. It might even take over TikTok at some point. <laughs> we'll get to that another time. Uh, this person said that they've been like, yeah, I've just been seeing him post B reels and he's always in the IV room. And I'm like, that's literally all he does. And then this person said, I'm just going to say it. They might hear this and that's fine. Fuck, should I say it? They were like, oh, God damn it. Nah, it'll, I'll just have to tell you after because it's going to, it'll, it'll, I think it's going to piss you off. Piss me off. I think it might make, I, it made me mad, but it's like so not surprising. Well, that I'm working too much. Along the lines. Yeah. I'll, you know what? Whatever. Let's go. Burn, let's burn a bridge. Yeah, there you go. If we burn a bridge, we burn a bridge. I highly doubt it. There's no way this person will hear this, but they were like, "They do know that you have a podcast with me, and that we." Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, I'll I'll be a bit vague than saying what they actually said, but it was something along the lines of like, you know, like not not saying specifically about you, right. but it was after. We talked about you that they were like, you know, that's why you just got to, uh, you know, live your life and like, you know, not get stuck in something you hate. And yeah, but see, like I, I like doing it. I, I, I know. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. And I know. No, it, I'm, not, I'm not saying this they, to you. They but did say it after yeah. I had brought you up. So it was yeah. obviously like following on the coattails of talking about right. you. And I, of course, backed you up like a good friend. Yeah. And I was like, again, not specifically saying it about you but yeah. just saying about that in general i'm like well that's why you just got to find something you like and like gavin likes and i li- I think i literally did was like gavin likes what he does and like he wouldn't be doing that if he right. didn't enjoy it you know but oh, I, you I, know, I was like you know literally like well. right i'm like i'm living i'm doing my fucking dream job somehow yeah and i don't love every single thing i do but it's, right. but that's because it's work and it's not always going to be like the best thing in the world, but you have in the back of your mind, it's like, this is what I work towards. And like, right. That's exactly. I'm here and I'm just happy to be doing it no matter what it is. And I, and I don't think that the, the quote, it, uh, you know, you find a job you like working at, you'll never work a day in your life. No, I, I really wish that I didn't have to go in as, to work as much as I do. Um, but it's just that I get something out of what I do. It's a lot of, uh, I get something because it's, it's, it allows me to see, common drugs and what they're dosed for common dosings right. for this medication uh how it can be compounded if it needs to be re- reconstituted how much i don't think we would ever be tested on those kinds of things but it's those kinds of like little really fun little trivia facts that i like to tell yeah, myself it's that all like, leading oh, yeah, up hey to- uh love an ox uh 0. 0.2 uh 0. 0.2 milliliters right. uh is used to stop bed sores and you know stuff like that like it's, it's all like, leading up to where you want to actually right. be where you're and i'll be able to it. and not only that but i'll also be able to talk to nurses about these things because i have literally made these medications for by the time i'm a pharmacist or by the time that i get to somewhere in my profession or even talking to patients i will have told them i'll be you know hey I've worked, I've made these medications before. Like, mm-hmm. I've compounded these medications before. Right. I know what it takes to get, you know, I know what it takes. So, like, be patient with how long it may be taking, you know. Right. Those it takes all kinds. It, I mean, it really does. Uh, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and I don't, I, I mean. I mean, I don't, I, again, I, to the people that are able to travel a lot and maybe don't work as much, you're, I mean, to be honest with you, I wish I could travel more. But. You'll get a time. I, I, there will be a time that I eventually get to it, but. To, um, I, you know, I just, I, I'm, I honestly am happy with what I do and I like doing it. And yes, I do work a lot, but it's, it's, it's I, not I, it's, for nothing. Yeah. It's not for nothing. It's not like I'm doing it because I like got stuck here, you know, anything <laughs> like that. Like I, I know, I knew what hospital I was applying to. I knew where I worked. I knew that, you know, I've heard that other places, other hospitals aren't as welcoming or, you know, as nice between pharmacists and techs and, and students and stuff like that. There are, there are other f- hospitals that aren't as nice. Uh, we may not have the best facilities, you know, by any long shot, but, you know, we're not 
you know, we're the top of the line for some things, but not everything. So it's, you know, it's, you're right. giving your take and you live and you learn, but when I also feel like <clears throat> it's part of, it's part of, uh, uh it's, just the, part it's of, the process. That's, that's also, what it is. that's also just American life right now. I mean, right. It's, it's, but it's work. also, it's all about the process of getting to that point. Mm-hmm. Like it's so, it's super hard to do that. Right. I mean, like I've been able to do that with some things, but not to the full ability that I want to. Right. And like, you know I, I, mean? I even worked, re- like I worked retail. Some people really right. like doing retail pharmacy. Some people, that is their thing. Mm hmm. They may they may say they don't like it or certain parts of it. You know, sometimes I say I don't like it, right? But you know, that's but deep down I know that I like doing it. Like I like doing hospital pharmacy. I would I wouldn't I wouldn't mind doing clinical pharmacy where I go around and you know walk around with a doctor or a nurse and you know prescribe you know make sure filling and everything's correct and dosing and whatnot. Right. Or I could stay down and stay down in the central pharmacy and verify medications as they come in or, you know, right. check medications, you know, look at medications, those kind of things. Talk to nurses, answer questions about right. medications, those kinds of things where it's like, I know that that's what I'm working towards. And the experience that I'm getting now and getting paid for it um, is helping me work towards becoming that better pharmacist, right. that better, that better person at my job. You know, I, uh, you know, I, a lot of the things that may be baseline, f- and I and I even talked about this, uh, maybe not here, but I've talked about it before, um, where it's like I, what some people's baseline is, or you know what some people's best thing is, that's where my ba- baseline is. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You know, some people are like, oh, I don't really like calling doctors. I'm like, well, yeah, pharmacists should do that though. Like that's the baseline. You should call doctors every time you have a question about something. You should. That is the baseline. Right. Some people are like, oh, I'll call them only on certain things, or you know, some pharmacists are like, oh, I'll call them every once in a while. But it's like, no, I. A baseline, I'd call every doctor that I needed to. But, you know, depending on how the f- sheer volume of patients or, you know, sheer volume of prescriptions I needed to fill or stuff like that, obviously that might change. But, you know, that's what I mean is that there will always be someone better and I can't be the best, but I know that I'm going, I'm doing as best as I can right now with what I have. Right. And, and you want, and you want and to I want to do it. That like, I, would, right. I think it'd be really cool. And like all the people I've met in pharmacy <laughs> are all very nice, very um, career centered. And it's very nice to, um, be able to have conversations with pharmacists and understand what they're talking about, you know? Right. And I always, and I, and I feel like, and, and I don't know, I've always like growing up, I've always heard that expression, like whatever it was, like yeah. if you love find your, a, find your job, you like doing, you know, you'll, you'll never, never work, work a day in your life. life, which is like, yeah, right. But like, don't, don't jade yourself into thinking that like you're going to get the job where you literally don't have to do anything. It's like, yeah. No, there's always going to be something that's not the most enjoyable. It's always going to, at times, it's going to be like, uh, sh- you know, today's tax day or whatever, you know, yeah. like for me, it's like I'm self-employed. So I literally have to like, you know, go through a rigorous process of like go through all your bank databasing statements. my, yeah, everything, cataloging it. Like there's always something, but it's like, I know that at the end of the day, it's like, I'm doing exactly what I want and I love it. And if I don't, then I'm not going to do it. Right. But like. You know, but that's, you know, like, so and I that's might why have, you always move on from to go right. find a different job. Maybe, you know, you find a different restaurant, different, you know, different uh, position at a different restaurant, you right. know, same position, same restaurant, you know. And you and I have both had conversations where it's like, you know, we talked about like a a shitty week we had, whether it was just like really busy or something happened. Yeah. But it's like at and the end of that week, like I will still, if somebody asks what I do, I'll be like, I fucking love it. Like, yeah. I'm just, I'm thrilled. That and was, like, it's not made up. That's just the truth but it might have just been a shitty whatever right and know? it's like i want to keep i want i i want to keep doing what i do what i do because it keeps me busy right <laughs> like, i like being busy because it keeps me busy right i don't i i i like it to be slow whenever i want it to be slow but whenever i want it to be slow and super busy that's whenever it gets un- unenjoyable right. where it's like oh you know i just wanted a nice day like nice sunday to kind of you know just relax you know just kind of chill out you know do my thing you know go through the motions but it was really busy on sunday you know that kind of thing right and I in this in this. Listen, I want to get back to this person, but it's okay. A little bit, but being vague again. I it's like I I. I always hate when people are like, oh, I just don't want to get stuck doing something that I hate, and like, you know, like oh, I just couldn't imagine like wasting, you know six find hours of my day and it's yeah. like find your call it's like but you don't do i feel like a motivational speaker right now but it's like you don't have to do that right do something that you like then like then 
but that's not life isn't like you're stuck doing just because like the people that you surround yourself with are stuck doing some fucking whatever doesn't mean you have to just go do what you want then why it's and not that even hard if it, even if it is you end up working uh you know to some of my friends who just graduated even if it ends up being that you know you work somewhere that it doesn't involve your you know your degree for the first year or two okay right <laughs> That's not a big deal. You can use that as a trampoline. You can go. You could, I, you know, I like this one time after graduation, after I graduated, after my graduation, we went to uh, Pi and this one uh, waitress had like a PhD in like bioscience or, you know, biochemics, right. you know, bio, biochemistry. And it's like, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to hear that from a waitress, but you know, that's the type of thing where it's like, you know, if she likes doing this, I'm not going to say, Hey, go use her degree, you know, right. go do something else other than and this. And there could be so many other reasons. Right. For why and it's like, you know, that's, that, you know, it's like, you don't have to find the job that you want to do immediately out of college. You don't have to find right. it now. You don't have to be, you don't have to be at the same job for 35 years. You don't have to be a teacher for 35 years. You could, you know, be a teacher for 10 years, go somewhere else, go back to school. You could even go. You know, you could go out of state, go find a different job somewhere else. Like, it doesn't have to be in the same area. It could be different area, same job, and maybe it's better right. somewhere else. You know, like that, that like, kind of thing. My other thing is, like, just don't. Do it's okay if you are stuck at a job that you don't like for right. like a year. It's but okay because that's just that's just the way it is right, right. now. But, but like, just don't do nothing. Right. Do just do something. You know, you can go whatever it is you want to do, even if it's just for that fucking week. You can find something to do that and then just do it. Don't so many. I hate the excuses and everything. And it's like, and I don't know. It just feels like these people make excuses for themselves. I feel like I'm tr like, no, I, I, I don't, don't want to sound not, like I'm talking about job. the yeah. wrong thing here. Yeah. Cause I also don't want it to be like, I'm talking about all the unemployed people who aren't those lazy fucks. Doing anything and, jobs. Now, and now I can't get my McDonald's in 15 minutes through the drive through. It takes 30. No, I'm just, I'm talking about, just people who are not doing anything but acting like there's nothing to do or that they don't want to do anything because it's, you know, they want to live their life and, you know, make themselves I feel like that's a, of, that's a lot of that's a lot of people our age. Not like our age, but like right. that's it's like the 20s thing. No, <laughs> it, it that's is. It's like a 20s. And they'll grow out of it, you know. Hopefully. Otherwise, they just look like there's someone. You know, like the, the joke is that you're living in your mom's basement. You right. Know? But it's like, you know, if that's what you end up doing. Right, you and know. I don't know, man. Just do something. I, you know, just don't be a, a f lazy fuck or whatever. I don't know, man. I'm in my Gary Vee era right now. So every day, I want you to imagine your uh, your brother's and sister's head smashed by a railroad spike. There you go. That's my motivation every day. Do you know about that Gary Vee thing? Yeah, I, I, I've. It's, great. Uh, listen, it's old I, news now. But. Uh, Gary Vee and uh, Andrew Tate are two two characters. <laughs> I don't. I don't put them on the same level, but yeah, <laughs> they're on the same level of stupid shit, but just different opposite things. Do you have any interest in talking about Andrew Tate? Because no, okay, because I, uh, I, I do I not. Don't. I, I, I really, really don't. don't. No, I've heard enough people talk about him, and somebody said something recently that put in a perspective that I didn't really think about. That I was actually like, oh, you know, I'd agree with that. And that kind of has led me to be like, I don't have, I any, don't. Inter I don't have I, any I don't. interest in talking about that person. Let's just say that and move on. <sighs> Gavin, in some real serious news, getting off of that topic. And by the way, I'm not alluding to anything. I'm not alluding. If you're the person listening, it's not about you. It's there just a go. vague thing. And I'm not <laughs> alluding to anything specific about being like, pissed off about work or whatever it's just a vague statement i don't want anybody to get the wrong idea there for either of us um real news gavin the choco taco is gone can you believe it dude how upset are you on a scale of one to ten about like that one i i think i had the, <laughs> i think i had one choco taco but it's like there's so many there's I've had, so much going on with it i've had one in my entire life and you know what my reaction to that was? Mm, it's fine. If and you want to know, I I honestly would probably would have preferred ice cream sandwich. It'd be different with like ice cream sandwich. You know what's great? A Klondike bar. Those right. Those are so good. Those are amazing. I don't give a fuck about this stupid taco thing. Listen. And I am so annoyed. I am just like I I I am very annoyed. This with wh everything about whoever it. owns it. Need, their stock needs to plummet. They whoever need be, whoever uh, owns it. Klondike, whoever owns it. You need to sell your stock right now. Those goddamn Klondikes. Yeah. 
I just don't. I, you why do? I, listen, gypsies and Klondikes. <laughs> Put them in the same category. Yeah, they're in the same category. Can't say that word. Um, I, 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 I'm just very annoyed. It's one of those things where it's just like it's been an annoyance for the past two weeks now or whatever it's been. Somebody Week. always brings it up. Well, it's just like everywhere. Yeah. And it's like people seem to really care about it. And it's like, but why? Well, it's not that it wasn't I that guess important. Maybe, it's not that important. I guess maybe like the funniest <laughs> thing I saw was someone like bought it and then 3D scanned it. That was the funniest thing I yeah. saw. Yeah. Um, but I guess maybe, you know, for some people it's a nostalgia thing where they w- they used to go every Saturday morning to the gas station with their dad buy a Choco Taco or something like that. I don't like think that. I've seen anybody eat or buy a Choco Taco. Th- me neither. Me I, neither. There was a reason that I had it like 10 years ago and it seemed like there was some like movie or TV show that like mentioned it and then they like gained popularity for a little bit. Which is when I thought yeah, they probably. came out. I thought they came out like 10 years ago. But they're like, they've been around for 40 fucking years. Yeah. And I was like, were tacos even around 40 <laughs> years ago? Because I didn't know that. Was Mexican food around? Who are Mexicans? Right. What's the Mexicans? Right. And what like, are? And I think the, the, the comparable thing to this is when Twinkies went away. Now, that one I feel differently about, and I did, because I think Twinkies are a I didn't know what the fuck a Twinkie was. Until what? I didn't know what it was for a while. And wow. people were like, uh, I honestly didn't know. And then I remember my, uh, I remember seeing them back in stores. Yeah. Well, I, was like, okay. I, for some reason, was like, I think that was during my, like, watching YouTube for hours every day after school era. And so I knew about that. But, it, but you're right. I, I was young, probably, like, yeah, I think twelve it was, or yeah, eleven. It was like ten to twelve, I think. Was yeah, when they discontinued them, and then they brought them back like right. four years later. And at the point where they discontinued them, I had never had them at that. point. Yeah, me neither. I had always known about them, and like always knew that they were like a staple snack I food. I I'm not a you know I, I'm not really a I'm I'm a really big snack food person. Right, but I'm not like a sweets. I, I'm not a sweet snack sweet food guy? person. I'm not like a hostess guy. I I. I I enjoy Hostess donuts, like their little donuts, mm, okay. those donuts, or I think they're what they're called, actually. Donuts. Um, but like, I'm not a big fan of like ho hos or like you know Swiss rolls. You know, I'm not, and like Swiss even the rolls co- are a little Debbie. Yeah, well, you know the, uh, you know the cosmic brownies are still a little Debbie too. But like those kinds of things where it's like I, right, I never really a big fan of those. But <laughs> I can see why some people were upset about the Twinkie stuff. I, I wasn't upset, but I was like. Twinkies that I felt I felt I felt more emotional yeah. towards that than the Choco Taco. That's because like, the media was off. that's because the media Carson was influencing your decisions here. It, it, you are a blank slate at 12 and they're telling you that the big corporations are trying to discontinue your favorite foods. I, I, I mean that's a that was all bullshit but I you believe it. I mean I believe you. Yeah. I I'm I feel like I was right there. Back in the trenches of Walmart. <laughs> Back in the trenches of Circle K. Looking yeah. For the last Twinkie whenever they got discontinued. Well, actually, it was like, I think Hostess was going on a business, too. Yeah, I, I remember. that time. The Hostess. I remember what the Hostess building used to look like. Then they turned oh it. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 On, yeah. It, yeah and it was, uh, it was where the Smoothie King is now. <laughs> right. It was on Fist Street. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow, I forgot yeah. all about that place. I, it was like desolate. Like the parking lot was <laughs> never full. Like it was always, it was always, it was that, also set back in the ground a little bit. Like it was weird. That place was open for like, I remember being open for like a few years of my life and then it was gone. Yeah. And then it was just like the hostess logo on the building. Yep. Yep. I'm going to look up this building and see if I can find it. You, um, could, you, you might have to go back like back in time. Let's go back in time. Um, you know, but, like, you know, you can do that in like Google Street. View. Yeah, whatever, dude. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was this it? I don't know if this is it. This isn't what I'm imagining. Is this the place? This right here? No. Okay, I didn't think so either. I'm picturing like a white building. Here, let's do um Fifth Street. Yeah. You know, you brought up not really what the fuck? It's all street central. I'll find it at some point. I'll find it after this. Um you brought up not liking snack cakes. I've always been a snack cake boy, if you couldn't tell. Always been a little doughy. <laughs> <laughs> little, um, little dough boy. Little doughy. That was that was little Debbie's um 
simpleton younger brother, little Dolly. Little Dolly. Little Dolly. A little Dolly. <coughs> and uh, I'm I've my one of my favorite snacks, one of my favorites, the junk food snacks of all time are called zingers. Mm, okay. Zingers are they come Did in? You a, say that in twenty twenty. Uh, you got to be careful when you say it, but yes, right. you can. Not around the wrong people. Um, zingers are like they're like they they come in a pack of three, which is way too many <laughs> for for children to eat. And they're like if you took a Twinkie and like flat made it more flat, like in a rectangle shape, and then you drizzled like a fat layer of icing on it it's they're they're real good every once in a while i'll I'll see them and i'll be like yeah i'm gonna get i'm gonna get me one of those so i've been i've always been a snack cake kind of guy put that in my tinder bio actually um but i understand your your stance on it but i'm glad we we have we're on the same grounds with the choco taco oh maybe it Huh. Did you find it? Were you looking at pictures of it? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Did you find it? Oh, yeah. This was it. Yeah, I guess it was this. But okay. it definitely... I oh, think... I guess it was that. There? Let me see it again. Let me see. But it might have looked... What year did you go back to? What year is that? 2012. That was the last time. And then, like, 2015 was the last... Yeah. But I do remember it being a little bit, like, I don't know, wider. It was definitely, like, a white building for a while, though. I picture... I'm, like... I keep picturing like a i feel like there was like a painted yeah, mural was, on no. the side that i'm picturing yeah you're right i Can, think there is was there any they go okay. only goes back as far as 2012 so i think it was probably it might have been well honestly, it might have been on the side of the building i yeah, can't remember let me for go sure. back <coughs> did there used to be like a dollar general on fifth street too there still is there is yes oh i didn't know that oh yeah it's real shitty you find it yeah i feel like doing research yeah well F- we're figuring out our childhood that's no I, I don't it's not there what the fuck am i picturing then it might have been the liquor shop <laughs> maybe no i remember the liquor shop oh i remember the liquor shop <laughs> um i wish that there was more dates i could go back to but there right. really isn't um i was thinking about something else recently that reminded me of that oh that like and it's still there too. Uh, the fucking used car lot right next to the water tower on First Capitol. Yeah, yeah. That's just been like abandoned. Yeah, empty. 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 I remember that was another place like this hostess store that was like, you know, open for like the first ten years of my life, and then has been abandoned since. Um, but that was another place I was thinking about recently. <sighs> Shall we jump right into a little a little bit of a um, maybe a little bit of a uh, what do you think about a little bit of a taste test? Wow. Yeah. That does Let's sound go. good. <laughs> that does sound good. I can't believe I didn't think about that. Gavin. I, um, Do you remember really this building? Like in any of these songs. Hold on. No, Wait, don't keep showing it to me. Now it's just a grass field. I, I will be king. And you, you will be queen. You know, I don't remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> I actually don't. That doesn't even look familiar to me at all. I know where it is. Though. I have a story about that, but I won't tell it on here. <laughs> what? Why not? Oh, I used to know the family that owned that. They like live there? No, they it was a business. What kind of business? Uh, one of them. One of what? The businesses. What kind of it? Like a construction rental company. Oh, like one of those. Yeah. Were, were those. they like? Were they like? Not wanting to give up the building or something. Yeah, they had to get bought out. But there's nothing in that fucking field. 
There isn't. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> they got rid of it because it looked ugly. <laughs> That's literally the it reason. It does. It, yeah. It's an eyesore. That's why they got rid but, of like, it. But like they still have not put anything there because That's why they got rid of it. It's a terrible traffic. That's so. why they got rid of it. Gavin, have you seen this video of these? Spiders are dead. <laughs> yes, I have. I don't want to watch yeah, it either. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not a spider guy. I'm not they, a spider man. They like man. blow puffs of air into the, like these exoskeletons, <laughs> and they like grab stuff. It's cool. You guys ever heard of um, animal abuse? <laughs> I <laughs> have you have you ever heard that version? It's yeah. on Stranger Things. Yeah, that's a good version. That's Peter Gabriel. That's Bill Collins. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Good. You know what? Go Fuck ahead. Why don't you go grab the taste test or something? What if I told you I had the taste test right here? <laughs> that's a little That's a little preview <laughs> of what, I, what I'm listening to this week. I'm just kidding. Right. Okay. I, uh... I have been um, frantically fucking looking for this goddamn <laughs> marshmallow <laughs> Coke. That's you going through like you know like tunnel vision. It's all like double, and it's like, <laughs> I really, where is it? I really just want sweating. I'm, I'm at, yeah, I'm imagining like it's a GoPro mounted around my head, just yeah. facing my face, and I'm sweating, and I'm like, oh. it's like double vision. Walking through a double store. double vision uh, filter out over. Double here. vision. My double vision always seems to get the best to me. I uh, yeah, I've just I I can't find this. If anybody knows where, so this isn't what's on the taste test menu today. No, I, if anybody knows where to find the special edition marshmallow Coke that everybody in California and on the East Coast can find so easily, please let me know because let me know. I can't find. Let me know. I can't find it anywhere. Me neither. Went to the gas station yesterday. Speaking of zingers. <laughs> Sorry. Did you see a couple of those while you were there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean by that. <laughs> I did see a couple of them. I thought about buying one of them because they're delicious. <laughs> we're talking about zingers, right? Uh, I will be king. And you. I was looking there for the marshmallow Coke. For the zingers. I saw the zingers and I didn't buy any. Because you didn't buy the zingers. Trying to watch my fig. <laughs> <laughs> but I did see something else that. This was my reaction when I saw it. You ready for this, Kevin? I said, "Does anybody really give a fuck about that?" And then I was like, "Yeah, people been- give a fuck about zingers. <laughs> they do. I'm Z- one of them. Zingers rights. We need don't let them outlaw zingers." Don't let them do it. Don't let them do it. They they're going to take your zingers. <laughs> they're trying to take your zingers away. We're not going to let them. We're going to keep them because we love to snack on them and get real dubby from them. And I was like, did anybody really give a shit about these at all? And then I was like, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Because then I got interested. I, I literally am like having this like almost five minute dilemma at the gas station thinking about whether I want to buy these. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. So here's what it is, Gavin. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> it's a mystery Fanta. Whoa! I love Fanta. That was my reaction, too. It's <laughs> like, I saw it and I was like, who fucking cares about Fanta? <laughs> Fanta was like, Fanta was like, we, they're like, we see you, Mountain Dew, and we're going to do something very similar. But we'll make it blue like but a But we're going to make it blue. It's going to be the opposite. Now, here's the thing. It'd be funny if it tasted exactly like a regular Fanta, and then it was just Orange. blue. <laughs> it was just blue. Now, here's the thing you'll notice right here. Boom. Zero, zero sugar. sugar. Let's just get it and out of the way. And caffeine free. And zero calories. This is the only version they came out with. There's not an original. There's only a zero sugar version. And I don't know why. It's zero calories. This is very interesting. It's just weird that they didn't. It's not so like with the dark berry Dr Pepper. They had a zero sugar version with like, yeah, the Mountain Dew Flaming Hot, not the original one, but the the one that they have out now, zero sugar version. You know what I mean? It's like, so it's weird that they specifically oh, yeah, have. Yeah, that's why. Well, right, they had to have a sweetener, and it's not going to be like a Lacroix. 
<laughs> Could you? What if it's just Lacroix? Nah, wait on. I'll wait to sniff with. Oh, you know what I think it's gonna be? Let me smell it and then I'll give my hint. Let me smell. Oh, that is Grape. not what I was. It drinking. tastes like it. Grape. That's why I smell. Let me smell yours. Mine smells like cream soda. Really? Yes. Let me smell. Maybe they're all different f smellers. Let me smell I don't yours. know. Let's see what smells different. No, yours smells the same. It smells like cream soda to me. Really? Yeah. Shall we do it? Yeah. Maybe it's like Big Red. That's for the thumbnail right there. Or big, you ever have Big Red or Big Blue? I've had Fago. You know what Big Red is, though? I think so. It's that red cream soda that's just filled oh, with sugar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's also a Big Blue, which really? is the exact same thing of just blue. Have you ever had uh, Fitz's Cardinal Cream? Yeah. It's really good. It's pretty good. It's, it's like good. strawberry cream soda. I haven't even drink it. I just made that noise. <laughs> wow, that is not good. No, this is definitely like cream soda. <laughs> now that you mentioned it, it's very much like a weird cream soda. That's like a bad cream soda. That's like though. a. It's this is definitely a zero sugar, zero calorie cream soda. Like this is. This is worse than those Zevias I drink. No, I think your Zevias were actually probably worse. I like Zevias. I hate. I hate fucking soda water. That soda water, dude. It's soda, but the sweetener is from stevia leaf extract. Okay. Who asked? Who asked for tamed? I feel like this is going to make my teeth chewy. <laughs> God, I hate when that happens. No, but you know what? Like, it makes it sticky. I feel like it's making my teeth sticky. I feel like it's just making me angry. I've had a worse cream soda. Probably worse. Tell me your worst cream soda. Well, cause of my most... My, uh, pause that real quick. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Oh, wait. Let me, let's do it again. Let me run it back. Um, well, what was your... What was the worst cream soda you've ever had? Well, Carlson, now that you mention, I had my worst cream soda, and I believe I was of the ripe young age of nine years old. I was drinking a... I was drinking a... It's on the tip of my tongue now. It starts with an S. Shasta. Yeah, and there's a, I think it was like a Shasta cream soda. It's got to be a Shasta cream soda. It, I, th I believe it was a Shasta cream <coughs> soda. Possibly Shit. one of the worst I have ever experienced in my life. No. I think, you know what? I think it was a Shasta. I think you're right. I like Shasta. I don't we have had it a dog anymore. Named, we had a dog named Sasha. My grandma couldn't pronounce it because she kept saying it like Sasha. <laughs> Shasha. Yeah. That's like Trump saying Yeah, it. no. It, Shasha. I love the dogs. I love cabbage dogs, and, Shasha. Uh, now to uh, bring up our favorite recurring character on this show. We have Donald Trump in the office right here. Right here with us. Oh, we do. Are we, are we okay? Can I jump into this real quick? Yeah, of course. That's the end of the... Uh-oh. Getting an error on here. Probably switching to camera audio. So just FYI. Don't know what's going on with that. Uh, keep going. Well, I'm going to... Uh, I'll just speak out. Yeah, for now. Let me. I'm gonna shut this down and start it up again. From the official Donald Trump True Social account, a a message from the from the president himself, not former president, still the president. Dated August first, first, 2022. Missouri Senate right. endorsement. There is a big election in the great state of Missouri, and we must send a MAGA champion and a true warrior to the U.S. Senate. Someone who will fight for border security, security, election integrity, and our military and great veterans, together with having a powerful toughness on crime and the border. We need a person who will not back down to the radical left lunatics who are destroying our country. I trust the great people of Missouri on this one to make up their minds, much as they did when they gave me a landslide victory in the 2016 and 2020 elections. And I am therefore proud to announce that Eric has my complete and total endorsement.
Congratulations to Eric. Love to hear it. <clears throat> I want to thank Eric. Uh, you know, we talked about this character on our show before. Could Mr. it have possibly? Grimes. Yes. Could it possibly? Could he be alluding to this character, Eric Grimes? I love the way you set that up. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Whew, hold on. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> what were you just trying to say? What was that? <laughs> why, why did you say it so weirdly? <laughs> that's the way that like people. That's the way that like people say it on like. <laughs> Normal podcasts and shit like that. Well, you were like, could he be alluding to the Eric Greitens? The Eric Greitens. No, he dude, he's alluding. It's Eric. Come on. The only one. So he literally, he knows he he's literally purposely, he's he's like, he's so lazy that he doesn't care to figure out exactly which Eric he wants to endorse, so he's just going to endorse both of them. Uh, all of them all at once. Everywhere all at once. That's literally, yeah, everywhere, everywhere, all at once. <laughs> everywhere, everywhere, all at once. I remember that one. I saw that movie in teeters. <laughs> I think I had some zingers while I watched the movie. I had some teeters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after this movie, we should go to teeters and get some wings. <sighs> right. <clears throat> I just need a minute. Okay. Every, <laughs> everywhere, everywhere at all. <laughs> yeah. A anything else about that you wanted to say about <laughs> his endorsement for the Missouri Senate spot? Mm, no. All right. Moving on. Taylor Swift. She's been in the news, huh? Are they going to duke it out for. Actually, sorry, I want to <laughs> say one more oh, thing. No, Are they going to duke it out? Like on a on the like doing Duke a, Ellington? Yeah. I don't know. They're both gonna win, so Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what'll happen. What do you mean duke it out? Like are they gonna have to fight for who gets it? Yeah. Who gets daddy's approval? Well they both got it. They're both Eric why can't hey hey. Why can't they both have it? Huh? Why why can't they both have the endorsement? Huh? Are they both are they are they both on the right side? Are they rhinos? I think so. He did specifically say Eric, he said Missouri could figure it out. They got it. You know what though? I kinda like that he did that though, because that's gonna be a torn election. It, yeah. And it might go the other way. People are gonna be like the people are gonna they're gonna be they're gonna get to the polls and they'll be like ah they're gonna be sweating and they're gonna be like Eric Eric uh, he didn't uh, the, the, the Don, Donald which didn't one? mention he didn't mention it he didn't mention it I don't know which one to vote for which Eric he said just said Eric I don't know which one to vote for which one to vote for I don't know which one to vote for just vote for Eric just right you know what everybody needs to go vote this is my official voting advice and I want this on the record. When you get to the polls, just write, for the write-in, just write Eric. They'll know. Missouri will sort it out. We'll find some. We'll, you know what, Gavin? If we have to, we'll find some extra voters. We'll make them up. I don't care. Give it to Eric. What are you doing over there? Rent. Real occupied. You're what? I'm doing my rent. <laughs> oh, okay. It is the first, so you kind of do need to get that. I do need to do it, so I'm doing it right now. <laughs> How long does that take? That takes me like two seconds to do. It takes me. It takes me two. Actually, it doesn't take me any time at all because I got that shit on auto pay, bitch. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, who's your out of all the Transformers? Who's your favorite auto pay? Uh, probably Decepticon. Dropped him as Grime. Yeah, dropped him as <laughs> Grime. <laughs> I think she was married to Elon for a minute there. Dropped him as Grime. She had a baby. It was the Exxon Mobil. <laughs> what was Elon's baby's name? Exxon Mobil? Uh, yeah, Exxon Mobil and Shell. And Shell. BP. BP. BP, Shell, Exxon Mobil. 
<laughs> What's your favorite Exxon Mobil game? Uh, probably Angry Birds. <laughs> flappy di- Flappy guy. <laughs> flappy man. Flappy temple. Yeah. Temple flap. Uh-huh. <laughs> temple flappy. Fappy too. Taylor. Taylor Swift. Lautner. No Swift. Sorry. Taylor Swift does not stop flying private jets, and no, you know she doesn't. You know. Uh, you guys need to make sure. You guys need to know that it's not all her flying the jet. It's not. It's not all her. It's not. Her publicist made sure of that. That you know, she rents it out to other people who also use private jets, yeah. and it's not just her. Like, let's name a few: Bill Clinton, <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein, Elon Musk. They all flew the Lolita Express with Taylor Swift. <laughs> I think I'm going to start a rumor that. Taylor Swift's on the flight logs. She's on the black book. That's actually a good. You know She's what? on the black phone with Ethan Hawke. That is a fantastic. Uh, that's a fantastic tweet. You should like edit her name into the into Jeffrey Epstein's the new black book. Yeah, the flight logs. <laughs> yeah, the flat logs. I know. Well, the reason, but the reasoning she she took the flights with Jeffrey, with good old Jeff. We're friends, so I can call him that. <clears throat> what about Ghislaine? Gillen. Ghislaine. Gillen. Guillotine. Guillotine. Um, the reason she she flew with Jeffrey on the Lolita was I really don't like the fact that it's literally named the Lolita Express. Why like, not? Uh, no, no. So the reason she did is because she was just so embarrassed to fly in her plane more that she needed to fly another and a different one. So that's the reason she got embarrassed. She was like, "I'm flying too much. I gotta." I got to cut it down. You know what? Jerry needs the plane for the day. I'm just going to go talk to Jeffrey, see if I can fly on his plane to go somewhere. <clears throat> so this all started with a a report, publication. Right? Yeah, a report that this publication that uh, I've UK. never heard of. Out of the UK. Out of the UK put out. Out, out of out of across the pond, the across the pond, they got the craziest people. They're all talking about beans and whatnot, beans they, on toast and all this bullshit. You know what? They should really be concerned about how much CO two. It's they're bullshit. Putting. That's what it they, is. It's they bullshit. Should, they should be concerned with how much CO two they're putting up with all those beans they're consuming over there across the pond. Uh, I think this all started with with the um, one of my favorite posts of the year of Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner. With their private jets saying, which one should we take today? Mine or yours? Tension rises as Jefferson. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> huh? Right. Uh, yeah, so I think it kind of started with that, and that kind of sparked people, because that like pissed a lot of people off, understandably. Um, and I, th- I think that kind of sparked this, this, uh, this report. It came out that Taylor Swift, by I think pretty much a landslide. Long, yeah. I was gonna say by like a long <laughs> shot. Like, like I think Floyd Mayweather was second, and she was like way above him. And then there's also this Twitter account that uh, tweets out, and I can't wait for this to be made illegal. Uh, that tracks celebrities, uh, and including Donald Trump. You know, and uh, they even have like a. I'm pretty sure they they have an Elon Musk one. They have yeah, a they have all of the Russian one. oligarch. Uh, private jets as well um but there's like a celebrity one and kylie jenner took a five minute flight from one airport in la to the other oh my God. Uh, not even but what kidding. the twitter account what gavin was saying is the twitter accounts like they, they tweet track out, where yeah, people are going and like flying. how long the flight was how many people are on it and like yeah th- i can't wait till they make that illegal because it's not illegal be for a certain reason i can't remember what it is but i know Probably that it's 9/11. been like <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, there's some reason that it's like not illegal to do that and not illegal to tweet out that either for some reason. I can't remember what it is, but cuz like the guy who do, who's done the Elon one at least like is like public. Like people know who he is and stuff like that. But so what I was getting to is that Taylor Swift by a landslide has uh has what 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 is the word I'm looking for? Her um publicist no 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 no. like what it what is it saying that it's like the plane fu- there's like a yeah it's just like saying how much like their private jet yeah carbon emi- co2 emissions that they've given off due to their 
private jet habits. And so Taylor Swift led the list by a landslide by having given off the most CO2 emissions by like... It was like 8,200 tons or something crazy like that. It was something that it was like one person, one a normal average person like could do that if they lived to be like 502 years old. Like, yeah. Like just, and like, it might even be more insane than that. I can't remember, but it's like, she's like, you know, done what a normal person can do in their lifetime by like a tenfold. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So just insane. Yeah. So an average person, a a typical passenger vehicle emits about 4.6 metric tons of carbon dioxide per year. She let out 8,200 metric tons of carbon dioxide since this year. January. Since January. Oh, and that was the other thing is that this is just <laughs> this year. That was the other thing I forgot. I was thinking it was over the course of like <clears throat> ever or yeah. since they've had the jet, yeah. but like I forgot that that's this, <laughs> this year. just this year. I completely forgot about that part. Which is uh kind of fucking ridiculous. If yep. this is this is where this is where a lot this is where the greenwashing's coming in. Uh I think Coca-Cola announced that they were they were switching uh, Sprite bottles, they were switching away from green. Going to white, yeah. Or and clear. Yeah, because uh, because it's better for the earth. Mm-hmm. But really what it is is that green Sprite bottles are very easy to tell out of a pile of trash. Right. So Coke doesn't want to claim responsibility. They can't. There's no plausible deniability when you have the only green bottle <laughs> on the market. Right. So they are changing it over so they don't get sued for and having sure that many. cheaper for yeah. them too. So. Yeah. They but they say, fuck. yeah, they don't give a fuck. It, like it's greenwashing. But if that was th- the case, they would just get rid of plastic bottles and just do cans. Like, yeah, they should. Yeah, well, they should have done that a long time right. ago. And but still, even cans aren't great. But you know, it's like better. At least you're reci- They can be recycled and right. made into more cans, and bottles cannot. Mm. Um, and mean, also, I not mean, only that, but bottles, we bottles s- we also, also like just de- they don't even deteriorate over time. Right. But it's like they, the plastic will. Let's just say I never opened the soda for like thirty years. The plastic will let out some of the mm-hmm. liquid and vapors, like we saw that one Welch's grape juice. Yeah. Um, but the plastic will also like, like, infect. I don't I have no other word for this, but infect the soda. Like you know what right. I mean? Like it becomes part. Like plastic will right. get into it. Right. Whereas aluminum, it doesn't necessarily do that. Right. And I wanted to specify. And they put a whole plastic layer on the inside of these mm. cans. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know that. Like if you dissolve a can, there's like a little like plastic <coughs> baggie. <laughs> Oh really? I yeah. didn't know that. I mean, there you can't really tell. I mean, if you were to crack yeah. it open, you can't really tell. It's like something right. you have to dissolve it layer by layer. It's a small layer. Yeah. But I was gonna say we say we say all this as we're drinking out of plastic yeah, bottles. But it's so. it, well. But the thing no, is that we're, we're not consumers. Perfect either. Well, right. we're consumers. But we also we're don't part have of the system. This. We're right. part of the system where they've built this. <laughs> it's a systemic problem. Right. And it's not on us to fix these problems. It's on the corporations that make these bottles, that make these cans, that make these uh, different delivery systems for for getting you know drinks sugary shitty drinks uh to us it needs to be a like a more systemic issue it's a it is not our problem it's not on us it's the billionaires the millionaires and the people who fly private jets uh which is literally uh like a thousand ten thousand times more than an average person does in a year so like i guess a thousand 15, 1,500 right. times no, more I, than yeah. an average and person does in a year. It always sucks when people are like, you know, do your part. Stop using these no, straws it's not, and it's stop not our drinking out of plastic <laughs> bottles. And it's like... That's not on us. It's really not. It's really not on us. Point. I mean, yeah, you can help a little bit, but you are you as an individual will not make it because you know who's going to be doing something even worse? The person with the private jet. The person who is making the same thing but still makes, a, makes different decisions as you. Like, right. basically, it just negates it. You know, it's just right. It's just really difficult, and I wish. The thing is that most of these, co- most of the countries, like, uh, like Switzerland, the Netherlands, Denmark, you know, like all the all the uh, Nordic nations, uh, they have tax incentives to like have electric cars, to you know, to not to recycle better. Like they have like very organized recycling systems, but here is basically like. I remember at our school, like we would do like paper recycling, but they just throw it all in the same trash can. Right. Oh, no, right. It, like the Layla, like they just put it all. They just empty it all in the same right. trash bag. And you're right. Like it, it, it's it, it, it is on them. And it sucks because it's like I'd love to do all these things that are you know I do as much as I can, but at the end of the day, it's like 
I'm not making a shit ton of money, and I hope to one day. I'm not right now. So, like, sometimes I just have to go with what's cheapest. Yes, right. And most of the time, that's what is destroying the earth. But it's yeah. like, until you can make these things cheaper, which you can yeah. for a lot of most things. There's also not a lot of stipends for, for companies to be able to. Like, that's why you find a lot of pre, uh, like preservatives and stuff like that found in cheaper foods. Right. Because it's just easier to make and last forever yeah. than to like make something that lasts for maybe a month or six months or whatever, but right. only be, you know, there's not that much going for it. You right. know, it's like, Oh, you know, yeah, you can have a fro- frozen dinner, but also we're putting in plastic packaging with non-recyclable plastic packaging right. with a non-recyclable fork, non-recyclable spoon. Right. Like <clears throat> most of these bottles and most of the plastic forks and everything will outlive us by like a thousand years. Right. So like, and like you said, at the end of the day, it's like there is only so much we ourselves can do. And now it's like it's getting it, it is it's been at the point where it's just on the companies who just need to fix what they're doing. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, yeah, it's it, but it's just so funny to see these people, these famous people just like literally just being such shitheads and you know just doing like the worst shit really that they can do and i I, i've i've always had like a certain feeling about taylor swift that i just like i've always had this like i don't know about you know what i really like jake joan hall i think that's what i'm trying to say here that's what you say here there's nothing i've always felt this way where i'm just like I'm just like, man, I just always feel like we're looking at this white girl and I just feel like there's just something. It's just, I'm just waiting for it. And this is like this one, this will be it. brushed over very yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like right now I'm like, I, like, I feel like we're getting to the point where it's like something's going to come out that's bigger than this. And that's going to be, that's going to make me feel like justified for having like a weird, always being like, I don't know about her. That was me with my, the Star Wars puppet. <laughs> exactly. I don't I know mean, about her. Uh, this is a really, really funny joke okay. by the Babylon Bee, who is still banned from Twitter as long as, along along with the Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson. Uh, ever since he got banned too. But uh, who's Babylon the, who Bee. Who is this Babylon? Babylon Bee. Bee. Uh, it's it's like a right wing, uh, right wing uh, onion. Oh, okay. Uh, Words. <laughs> yeah, it's not very funny for a reason. Uh, this is this is the joke. Husband and wife ask each other what they want for dinner over and over until they starve to death. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That's that's hilarious. Let me see what some of these comments have to say. That's great. What's and that has to do with Taylor Swift. No, I just saw this. What was the TikTok you have? Oh, yeah. The TikTok is... <clears throat> is it appropriate for the show? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Sorry, I gotta go back to like eight. Why is the Babylon Bee banned from Twitter? Because they tweeted something about something. Mm. I literally had never heard of it until today. Taylor Swift ordering DoorDash, and it's oh. like <laughs> all the planes. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lots of good memes coming out. About yeah, that. So oh, yeah, here's another one. I just pulled your IP. I've got it right now. Is it 308 Negro Aurora Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico? That's you, isn't it? Trump doxing Walt Jr. on Snapchat. I'm on Google Earth. I see a pizza on your roof. Wait, what? Wait, I'm confused. What is this? Uh, Walt Jr. from Breaking Bad. <coughs> right. Trump doxing him. Okay, Jr. I just pulled your IP. I've got it right now. Is it 308 Negro Aurora Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico? That's you, isn't it? I'm on Google Earth. I see a pizza on your roof. <laughs> I see a pizza on your roof. I see a pizza. I see a pizza on your roof. <sighs> we love celebrities. We can't get enough of them. And then in more Trump news, we should have done it. We should have gotten all the Trump stuff out of the way. Um... <coughs> he um his first wife right yeah first uh, wife ivana yeah how many wives is he had just two i think three all right i, I don't even donald trump wives his wife tragically oh, yeah he, uh, yeah this is his first wife he has had three okay ivana 
Havana, Marla Maples, and mm. Melania. Marla Maples? Mar- who the fuck <laughs> isn't Marla Maples? Mar- Mar- okay. Who is Marla Maples? <laughs> I'm not doing uh, she was oh. Tiffany Trump's mom. Who's Tiffany? Oh, Tiffany's the... The... <laughs> the... The one that gets swept under the rug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. the she's the ugly one. Wait, that's Tiffany? Yeah. It's Tiff but Tiff but you never hear about Tiffany. It, she who am I thinking of that's like the quote unquote the unattractive sister that like I know Tiffany's not out in the limelight, but It's not Ivanka though. Oh, of course it's not Ivanka. <laughs> I'd Maybe it fuck is my though. daughter and if I could, I'd fuck I'd fuck her so hard. <laughs> that was a quote from Trump. <laughs> That's tr- that Trump's in the room with us right here. Trump, what do you have to say? I love my daughter, Ivanka. She's so beautiful, so sexy. Look at her legs. I want to fuck her so hard. <laughs> I'd put my penis right between her thighs. One day, if I get lucky enough, I'd love to just put my penis right between her I can't her wait. I can't wait till she's 18. I haven't been grooming her. I can't wait till uh, Ivanka's turns uh, 18 and then I can put she's, my... She's my favorite daughter. She's my favorite fuckable one. And then I can put my penis... No, Tiffany Trump is, the ugly, is like the ugly daughter. She's not ugly, though. That's why I was like kind of... She's... she's but she is the one that gets swept under the rug. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor Tiffany. Poor Tiffany. <laughs> I saw you saying that. Poor and Tiffany. Tiffany. <laughs> so Trump's first wife died. Ivana. Blomp. <laughs> How did she die? Uh, uh, oh shit! Trump, Trump killed her. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Gavin? I actually have a report right here. About <laughs> actually, I have her obituary pulled up on Bowie right her, now. Her, her fucking obituary. <laughs> I have this bitch. This fucking obituary. <laughs> I, have, I have her bitch obituary pulled up on on Bowie right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> <laughs> it says it actually says that she died from death. Actually, wow, she died from wow. She had the disease. Wow, she died. Die, daddy, like it. <laughs> she died from death, dude. She couldn't make it. <laughs> you just gonna rub one out right under the under there. Well, I can't wait to my daughter. <laughs> I can't wait to fuck my daughter. If I could fuck my daughter any sooner, I would. <laughs> but daddy needs to wait till he gets <laughs> home. Daddy said, daddy, da- daddy friend said, I have to wait. So Trump killed his first wife and buried her. <laughs> <laughs> buried. Imagine, imagine that. Bury your wife. <laughs> Trump, so Trump had his first wife killed and they buried the old bitch on his golf course in New Jersey. <clears throat> that, old, that old fucking whore. That old bituary. She's. N- I don't know. If she's a bitch. I'm just oh, worse I think jokes. she fell. Yeah, she died after suffering blunt impact injuries to her torso in a fall down the stairs at her New York City home. <coughs> uh, did it hurt when she fell from heaven? The death I of the seventy-three. She was seventy-three. Holy fuck! Well, how old's Trump? Seventy-eight. Yeah, but she was seventy-three in nineteen what? <laughs> Forty-nine. Nineteen ninety-two. It turns out she was 73 in 1925. I mean, she was. she. No, she wasn't. I'm looking at pictures of her right now. She was at the um, the uh, Kennedy's inaugural ball. She was born in 1949. She was so sucking. that's literally impossible for her to be 73. But she was actually. It looked. I'm looking right here right now. She was sucking on Kennedy's inaugural balls. <laughs> I'll suck on some inaugural balls. I'll suck this is an iron ball. I'll suck balls. <laughs> <coughs> so she, so she died. Trump killed her. And uh, Trump pushed her down the stairs. That's what happened. Trump got mad. She wasn't paid child support. So he, what do you want me to do with the with with Tiffany? She's ugly as shit. I just because like of you. Tiffany. I would not fuck Tiffany. I would have fuck Ivanka, but I wouldn't fuck <laughs> Tiffany. I would have nothing to do with her. Um, and then buried her. On his New Jersey golf course in Bedminster, New Jersey, um, for what is probably tax breaks, some real good tax breaks that I don't fully understand. So, in the state of New Jersey, 
I'll just read what it says and maybe I'll understand a little bit better. Oh, she died. Oh. Oh. What? I'm sorry. Trump did kill her. This this is my fault. I misinterpreted. I thought she died in 1992. <laughs> I didn't know she recently died. She just died. I did not know that. Oh, really? Oh, I did. Oh, I didn't know you didn't know that. <laughs> no, I didn't know she died. I didn't know she died. <laughs> that old fucking bitch. I didn't know she died. How did she die? I I, I don't know. She fell. <clears throat> so New Jersey has a... So she married Trump and then died in 1992, but then recently, <laughs> 30 years later... She died twice. She died twice. Leaves of three, leave them be. Be. Died twice. She wrote books. <laughs> no way. How I didn't be. know that she died like oh, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, like super recently. <laughs> Why would I didn't they just stop I, I, I don't know. I thought that that was like, it was like, oh, look. Look how many years ago she died. Look, he turns out she actually, he actually buried her on his fucking, you know, we did a re, We did a reburial. I didn't like when yeah. she was buried. I, I dug up her dead body and personally delivered it to my Donald Trump li- lobby, <coughs> Mar-a-Lago. <coughs> So here in the cemetery's funerals in New Jersey, Texas, under cemetery companies, cemetery company means any individual, corporation, partnership, association, or other public or private entity which owns, operates, controls, and manages land or places used or dedicated for the use of burial of human remains or disposition of cremated human remains uh, located under the following activities, yada, yada. So it's just saying that if you bury it on your property, and here's the exemptions you get if you bury it on the property you own. The act relieves relieves cemetery companies from the payment of real property tax on lands dedicated to cemetery purposes. Oh my god. <coughs> income taxes. Oh my god. Sales and use taxes. Now why would a sales tax Why would you want to avoid that? On a golf course. Well, why would why would burying someone on your property mean that you're exempt from sales tax? Cuz you did a good thing. You buried him you on buried, your golf course. You it's just, funny because it says on the Wikipedia page, Ivana was buried at the Trump National Golf Club Bedminster in Bedminster, New Jersey. We're so happy you buried the old bitch on your property, so we're <laughs> going to give you some exemptions. Isn't that insane? What a weird... Cra- that seems like some mob shit. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just like... I buried my wife on my fucking golf course. And we want you to give us some tax exemptions. But I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I loved her. She had many children. She, she had great. I fucked her. <laughs> I did fuck her. I, I fucked, her. I, fucked I her. I I fucked her. She had three kids of mine. I didn't like any of them. I don't like them. She popped them out. I don't talk to any of them, but they don't talk to me. They don't get any of daddy's money, and they certainly wouldn't suck on daddy's cock. No, they would not. So I killed her. I killed my. I killed my first wife. I threw her down the stairs because she said that I didn't win the 2020 election. And you know what happens with people who don't who they say I'm a win. I don't I don't fuck with winners. I don't fuck with I don't I mean I don't fuck with losers. I fuck with winners only. That's why I keep a small circle. I only keep a small circle around me. People like Asa Brocky and Gorak Black. I love all these rappers. They're so great. Some of the best rappers alive, really. <laughs> they don't say that enough. They don't say it enough. So that was that's that's I think that's that for the week. I think that'll about do it for the week. Ugh. Gavin, we had a trip to Chicago. That was kind of fun. Yeah. We made it back safely before the floods happened. Yeah. Uh, actually, pretty right up the flooding. street from where I live, there was uh, pretty bad flooding. What's the address? Uh, it is... Uh, it was it was actually pretty bad. It was like um, I was I was surprised because I didn't think that it would ever get that close, but it did. But it didn't affect you at all? No. Oh, that was quiet. No, 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 don't turn it up. Don't turn it up. That's me. Aww. Yeah. I didn't know that it uh, it got that close. I texted you like the second. Oh, damn. He's really. <laughs> Man, he's really fucked up about this, isn't he? Damn. Yeah, it's crazy because like the rain started that <laughs> night. <laughs> it did. Like we. I think we, we would have been fucked if yeah, we came back we later. Yeah, we would have been absolutely fucked. Yeah, I ran in with all my luggage, my 50-pound bags of 
I woke up and my dad was like, yeah, we had eight inches overnight or something like that. And I'm like, wow, that's longer than my dick. I was going to say, dad, I got eight inches overnight. <laughs> you want to see it? Um, but I was like, I was like, I fell asleep like immediately after I get back. Yeah. And I was like, I woke up at like 12 hours later and I was like, wow, it looks like it rained. Yeah. So <laughs> I didn't even know the flood. Well, actually, excuse me. Uh, I had a little cream this morning. I, uh, I think I woke up and I knew about the floods because I've been seeing stuff online. Because you woke up in three feet of, of water. I think I knew about the floods because I woke up and I was quite, I was wetter than normal. And um, I think I'd known about them before leaving the house. But once the rain let up, I wanted to go work out at my gym. I have a gym here. Wait, seriously? You actually, you got back and went out to work? Adam? Not that night. Not oh, that okay. Night. I was no, about to no, say, no, wow. No, 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 uh, no. I came home and I was like. This stuff I was like, like wow, through. and then you like ran through the rain like you were like fucking Rocky. This is, <laughs> is kind of what I sounded like afterwards. I will say that uh, it was it was not fun to try and navigate that fucking <coughs> parking lot. I felt I felt bad because like there was nothing we could do. Oh yeah, that was then a nightmare. Get that was fucking horrible. Oh, and then get this. I don't know if this has anything to do with the parking lot. No. But I have a pretty good feeling it does. Um, my card got confiscated and somebody tried to order something on Shutterstock, so I don't have a card, just like Sean. Hey, what do you know? Luckily, it just happened to be after the trip, but I yeah. think it might have to do something with those card scanners down there. <clears throat> Maybe, just a hunch. Skimming is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that was a nightmare. But yeah, I, yeah. It so could have been the McDonald's. They dude, put a that card McDonald's is fucking weird. I, that's what I mean. It was a weird McDonald's, dude. It was in this like mall, and there was nobody there. And the guy was like, "I was the only buddy there at like five o'clock or four o'clock." And he was like, "What do you want?" And I was like, "What's oh, up, man? What's up, man? We haven't seen anybody all day." It was so weird. It was him and one other person. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it was a lot of people working. They, oh, like, really? Fully stocked wow. everything. I was like, "Well, we can we do this all across America." <laughs> so. So I, le- I, I, said, I said, what the, what, I was like, where the fuck is everybody? The next day, I left to walk over to the gym, which is walking distance from my apartment. And there's a big pond over there, as you know, Gavin. And you know there's a big pond over there, right? Yeah. Over it, the, yeah. Right next to the pool, right next to the, where the gym is. They're all in that same complex building. So I walked over there, and the pond was, like, up to the sidewalk. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, thank God it didn't go over. I don't know what would have happened. Because you live in a bowl. I live in a bowl, the Hollywood Bowl, pretty much, actually. I mean, I'm surprised that this little fountain out there didn't fill back up and start spurting water and stuff like that. Right. So I... Um, I'm sorry, it's a barbecue pit now. Excuse me. I get over there, and then I, like... I guess I wasn't paying enough attention to the pool, but, like, I'm dodging water, and then I get up to the door, and there's just, like, mulch, and, like, the door is, like, completely fogged over, and there's a sign that says, like, laundry room... uh this area and the gym are closed due to water. And then I look in there and it's like, it literally got up to like a foot up in there and like ruined the whole pool. The whole pool was drained out. It like fucked their shit up over there. And I was like, that's right. That's what you fucking get. I have fucking water in my apartment for six months. And like, yeah, I guess you're right. You guys take that shit. But now it's like fine. Besides like their walls are fucked up in there, like real yeah, bad. Yeah. So but whatever. Fuck them. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck anyways. Oh, and now my ice machine's are broken, which is a story for another day. And it leaked water out and it got under my floorboards again. So that was interesting. Uh, <sighs> what are you listening to, huh? What are, this I week, don't like big be- This week I'm listening to Uh this week I'm listening to yours like- dreamily. Bless you. The Arcs. Which is a uh side project of an you're gonna like this one. Black Keys singer Dan Auerbach uh, has my a favorite. Yeah, uh, it is his side project from 2015, which makes me feel really old because I remember like really excited about this stuff. Um, it's it's very interesting because the arcs are like, well, it sucks because they aren't gonna be doing anything anytime soon because like one of their leads passed away, Robert Swift. So. Oh, so this isn't a new album. No, it's 2015. Okay. Um, How many side projects do these fucks have? Well, 
one they did like basically for a record company which was called Black Rock, um, which was a which was the Black Keys plus a whole bunch of rappers. So there's a whole oh. album of a whole bunch of Black Keys like drumming and singing with rappers. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. I like a couple of the songs. Um, one of I don't I don't think it's on the album, but one of my favorites was like Baddest Man Alive. That was really cool. I like that one. I think that was with RZA. Okay. Um, it was pretty good. Um. There was another one. I'll have to go back and look at that one. But this is one of his other side projects. Um, but it has... Um, um, yeah, it's crazy because this entire album was recorded in less than two weeks with like an entire mariachi band from New York City. Uh, All-female mariachi band. That's cool. Um, and... Uh, I'm trying to read, uh, but I can't really find anything. I'm trying to read like their their thing, but it's crazy because uh, th- they made a couple songs afterwards. They actually appeared on um, a HBO show called Vinyl. Um, hmm. There's a couple songs in there that are pretty good, but they released. Uh, you remember making a murderer? Whenever that was yeah. popular, they made a whole song about that. Oh, called uh, Lake Superior. But uh, yeah, I like this album a lot. It's crazy because they only have five hundred thousand lo- monthly listeners. Um, and I, but it's funny because I sh- I I connected my Spotify to this one account and I have to disable it now. But where it showed like the uh, the iceberg, where it's like right. you know most popular to least popular, and the arcs were on the bottom, which was interesting because I still think of them as. I don't think they were ever. I don't think they were ever popular. But it was like it's Dan Arbach. His name is attached to it. It's going to be, you know, pretty well listened to. I thought that, you know, but some whenever I mention the arcs, people are not going to know what the fuck I'm talking about. Arc spelled a R C S. Okay. So anyway, they uh, there's like four or five songs that I like in here. I remember this is how I know that it was a while ago. Uh, me and my brother and my sister used to walk to Subway, and I remember one time. We walk to Subway and I, I listen to this album out loud. Um, I actually really like most of this. Like most of this album, there's like some really good hooks in here. Like Out of My Mind's really good. Put a Flower in Your Pocket's really good. I don't really like everything you do for everything you do. You do for you. Pistol Made of Bones is pretty good. I like Stay in My Corner. Cold Companion's pretty good. I like the Ark that's on my playlist. Um, Nature's Child is not very good. Uh, Velvet Ditch is starts out very strange. It's a lot of just random noises, but it gets really good. I like it. There's the saxophone and everything. Chains of Love is pretty good. Rosie, Rosie Ooh La La is pretty good. And Searching the Blue is one of my favorites. Uh, Searching the Blue is actually pretty sad, but um, just a slower tune. But it's uh, the mixing on it in my car. I don't know what the fuck is up, but some of these drums are fucking insane. Like the bass and the drums are mixed horribly on this album. Nice. Do not listen to these on uh on, on on a car speaker like you yeah! the drums hit way too hard and you can't hear what he's saying and it's like ridiculous like the bass is just the bottom out That's ridiculous funny. so i enjoy it um it's a it's a nice nostalgic album for me and uh still listen to most of their songs so hell yeah yeah it's pretty good maybe 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 i'll check it out it's it's not i will say it's not like black keys rock it's like it's not like ford commercial rock it's more of like indie weird you know just kind of like experimental sounds there's um like i said like saxophones there's mariachi mm-hmm. band involved there's uh the artist who made this album i still follow and he did a whole bunch of animations uh for some of their music videos and mm-hmm. it's very interesting art i i don't want to misrepresent it's it's like um it's like Hispanic Mexican artwork based okay. and it's like an animation based on like old, old timey uh, Mexican animations. Is there any reasoning behind that? Not behind really. I, Mexican, I, I, I don't remember. Mexican themes. Don't really remember, Spanish but I think themes. that he was just into that. He was, this was just after the black Keys psychedelic phase. So he might have still been in that. So yeah. well, I'll, cool. I'll have to, I'll have to look more into it, but yeah, just uh, curious. I don't know if that came from, Somebody or the main guy or whatever. Yeah. Um, so this week, 
I uh, I'm st- I, I think I'm I'm back in a weird funk, of course, with the music again, which kind of sucks. But still getting some good stuff here and there coming out. But there is a new. Sorry, Mike's being weird. Uh, there is a new um, uh, two new singles by this band uh, called Sleeping with Sirens, who were a emo screamo band like one of the like og emo screamo bands from like the early to mid 2000s that i did like i was never a huge fan of them um but i did like some of their songs and um they're still releasing music i'm assuming they're coming out with a new album soon who was it sleeping with sirens okay okay and so I'm just trying I have to heard of them. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard of them. You might have you might recognize one of their songs. You would not like them. I know I don't. Um but don't they have released to tell me twice. They don't tell me twice. They came out with two two new singles and I'm recommending one of the singles called Crosses with uh or featuring I should say the lead singer of um, the band Under Oath, which I'm a huge fan of. Oh, okay, I see where this is going. See, connection just like yours. Uh, featuring the lead singer Spencer Chamberlain of Under Oath. Um, it's a very good song, very good song. Um, yeah, it's just a fun song, and it's kind of cool to get the two, um, kind of OG screamo emo bands together yeah. a little bit. So definitely would definitely would it associates. I remember when it's, 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 uh, screaming with sirens, scooby, 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 sleeping scooby, with sirens was big in middle school. Screaming with sirens, yeah, yeah they were. I they knew were like a lot of girls who listened to that. Oh, and like yeah. Pierce of Ale and those are the girls I was macking five, on. <laughs> yeah. And uh Five Seconds of Summer was another one. Yeah, they weren't emo. I mean they they weren't emo, but right. they were like in that same like listening pool. Yeah. In my opinion. I, I knew a lot of people who They were listen. more in the one direction listening pool. Yeah. You guess you're right. Yeah. I never I it took me forever to find out that the band was Five Seconds Summer. I was just all Five Sauce. Five Sauce and yeah. thought that was just it. That was it, yeah. Or five SOS as yeah. I always yep. called it, I yep, think. Yep, yep, but yep. Yeah, it was funny because th- you know there's just, like a whole era of like people are into like these emo screamo bands and like it was this it was very similar though in a way I get what you're saying because like they were like attracted to these because they're just like these guys with this swoopy hair yeah and, yeah like, that's exactly what it was v like crazy V neck shirts and like so like sleeping with sirens <laughs> pierce the veil um, there's a couple others bring me the horizon bring me the horizon. Who is just like a one of the? I still think one of the best bands bringing the horizon. They've completely like changed throughout the past couple of years. But yeah, it's like they always had those cute guys and like the girls, those emo girls loved them, and and guys like me wanted to be them. <laughs> <laughs> and now <laughs> you know, I girls still love them. Guys, guys, guys want to be, be him. him. Uh, want to be in. You them. know, I never. I, I guess I never really gave them a chance, but I knew that Pierce Veil was one of the harder bands in my opinion uh yeah they I, were a lot more screamo very in my opinion still kind of scary yeah like even even right. kind of today but even though i listen to ghost the, but pierce the veil and sleeping with sirens like bo- like you hear both their lead singers and they're like crazy high-pitched vocals like yeah and like they both sound the same which is funny and they're on a lot of each other's songs which is cool but they also all do that like acoustic like kind of sad boy emo stuff occasionally too like uh, like uh, Machine Gun Kelly or uh, Lil Bo Peep, <laughs> Lil Bo Peep, Lil Bo Peep, Lil Bo Peep, Lil Bo Peep. But then there's bands like I wasn't into that scene really. I wasn't into like the more I was into like the even heavier stuff like uh 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 um like Ballsack Ballsack Heaven Ballsack <laughs> Ballsacks in Heaven. I was into like I liked this band um who I might go see soon Devil Wears Prada. As a big oh yeah, you would recommend them before you talked about them before. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna see them live here soon, which I'm not a huge fan of them anymore. I'm actually more of a fan of those other bands that I wasn't into. Yeah, than I am like Devil Wears Prada and like some of the other shows listening to. But that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Never seen it. I've never seen it either. But it's a movie. Heard of movies? I've watched movies. I saw Nope. Oh yeah, you did without me. Yeah, we need to go see it maybe this weekend if you have time. Yeah. That you want to spare. Yeah. Spare some change with a pole. No. Let's get out of here, dude. It's been too long, and I gotta, I gotta get long. Sounds good. I gotta get my long on, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm, I can finally do the outro. The outro. The outro. <coughs> well, everybody, thanks for listening to the It Takes All Kinds podcast, episode seventy-four. 
We'll be here listening to you. You'll be here listening to us. I keep watching. Keep sharing. Keep playing. Keep listening. Keep playing your favorite games, guys. Don't stop playing video games. Yeah. Uh, apologies for the audio issue there. Seems to be all fixed in the second part. I don't know. Really not a really not a big fan of this guy. He works every once in a while, but sometimes he does <coughs> some fuck shit. He's lazy. He's a lazy fuck. He's a lazy fuck. fuck and doesn't need to He's a lazy fucker we're going to write about. We're going to kill him like I just killed my ex-wife. I mean, uh, buried her on the golf course. Uh, so apologies for that. Hopefully next week it'll be fine or whatever. I don't fucking know. I don't know what they're doing. Goodbye, bye.